Unlike a red flag, a yellow flag means proceed, but with extreme caution. Fellas, pay attention to what tree she fell from. Not only does that dictate her genetics, it's also going to dictate her habits. It's a good indicator of her comfort zone and the type of life that you guys could potentially create together. Now, why is this important? Unfortunately, as a community, we tend to come from a very challenged background. Obviously, we can't pick our families. We can't pick our mothers. We can't pick our fathers. And hopefully we at some point develop a mindset during the course of our maturing to identify and break some of the generational curses that we are burdened with. But the unfortunate reality is that most people don't do that. The vast majority of people are simply a product of their environment. Their very first environment is their mother's womb and their very next environment is the home that they grow up in. So fellas, as you're getting to know a woman, pay attention to what she says about her home. Not only should you be aware of the sickle cell trait, especially if you have it, so you know you can save your children a life of uh, pain and other genetic variations that might make procreating for you guys challenging. Also be aware of what her mom is like right? OGs would tell you that her mom is literally a peek into her future. If her mom is still fine at a older age, you might have a good one that's gonna <laughs> still look good in her 40s, 50s, and 60s. I've seen a couple pictures of her mother, the future is bright. But if her mom is disheveled and bloated in all the wrong places, she might be fine right now, but it's only a matter of time. I know a lot of girls that have hourglass shapes, but as soon as they have that first kid, it all goes to hell. Hispanic women <laughs> are notorious for this. You'll see their moms built like SpongeBob and you'll be like, how did she spit her out? But again, genetics are a big thing. And not to say that looks are everything, but it is to say that you need to do your due diligence so you're not surprised, right? Because you'll hear some stories from men say, you know, I married a dime piece. I didn't anticipate you becoming this. And that sometimes even leads to infidelity or even divorce. And I think it's the onus is on us to be cognizant of what her potential future is going to be, especially as men, because, you know, looks are important to us. Uh-uh, because see, I ate twice before I came. God damn! But more than that, pay attention to how her mom behaves. Is her mom a feminine, respectful, intelligent, wise woman? If so, it's likely that the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. Similarly, if her mom is a cantankerous, vile old lady, it's also likely that the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. And again, the reason this is a yellow flag and not a red flag is because it's not necessarily a foregone conclusion, right? There's the analogy of the two brothers who were raised by an alcoholic father. One became an alcoholic. One hates the smell of alcohol. So there's variation, right? Um, but it's something to be aware of. And, you know, as an African man myself, the paradigm that we think of when we think of like marriage is I'm not marrying you. I'm marrying your family. I'm marrying your habits. I'm marrying your siblings. I'm marrying your friends. I'm marrying your credit history, your financial portfolio. I'm marrying everything about you for better or worse, which means as men, you need to be aware of and you need to start noticing even in the early stages of your courting, all aspects and details of who this woman is, what this woman comes from and what she could potentially mean for your life. My family weren't slaves. Are you so sure of that? Yes, as a matter of fact, they own slaves. Oh. Oh. Mom does say that. Oh. 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 And ultimately, if you guys are a good fit, right? Is this a woman with daddy issues? Is this a woman who grew up in an environment where nobody around her even knows how to respect men, even knows how to be cordial or cooperative with a man, a male authority, a male son, a male nephew, because however long she's able to maintain the facade, it will break at some point. Because again, going from dating to girlfriend is a promotion. Going from girlfriend to wife is a promotion. You can't expect your employees to work harder if you keep promoting them for the bare minimum. And that's why when I see some of these stories about guys getting screwed over, I sometimes don't feel any sympathy because some of the signs were there, but you chose to ignore them. You thought she was different, but you didn't pay attention to validate that theory. Also, is this a woman who says things like, I just don't get along with females. I was a tomboy growing up. I have a bunch of male friends. They're my brothers. Not necessarily a red flag, but it's definitely a yellow one. Because if she doesn't get along with other women, 
yes, we can go with the theory that, you know, women are catty and the whole nine, but she's a woman. <laughs> she's not a man. So for better or worse, if she was unable to find her tribe, I would have some questions. And I would definitely have questions. Why is a woman, a female woman, more comfortable around men? You know, one of the ways in my culture that your family helps you evaluate a potential wife is during the time that she stays with your family, the women in your family observe her interactions with men of your family. Is this a woman who laughs just a little bit too much? Is this a woman who is entirely too touchy-feely? Is this a woman who, instead of helping the women with their duties, whether that's cooking the meal for the day, whether that's cleaning up, whatever the case may be, she would rather be in the living room talking football with the men. Depending on the type of household that you want to establish, these are important things to be aware of. Again, they're not red flags, but they're definitely yellow ones. Send this to your boys, have conversations about it, share stories. Fathers, send this to your sons, have conversations about it, share stories. And as we continue to elaborate on some of these conversations, my hope is that we can establish a strong and prosperous Black community full of strong men who are intentional about the women that we choose and the behavior that we reward or that we stay far away from. Thank you guys for watching. Leave it in the comments. Run these likes up. Hit the subscribe button on your way out. Check out some of the other content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The next